Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning August 4th, 2020. I wanna give a very special happy birthday shout out to my nephew, Kyle. Happy birthday, Kyle. I love you so, so, so much. And I cannot wait until I get to see you and the whole family again, hopefully soon. All right, also I wanna say, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I have courses over at Gumroad. Thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And I do have a whole new merch line if you wanna check that out. All the information is down below in the description box. Okay, so the reason why I'm going ahead you will see I look exactly the same as last week <laughs> because I felt, you know, sometimes I'll do that because I feel like there's a continuation of the message and let's just link right into it. So as we come into August, there is a feeling of kind of, um, I want to say like zeroing out where everyone's just at this place of like shock. There could be a place of shock here or this feeling, you know, even if nothing's happening on the surface, there's still this sense of um, something's about to erupt, something's about to happen, systemic. There's these kinds of words that are coming up and I'm getting chills as I, I feel out like there's something, I'm seeing roots in, in mud or like dirt and we're seeing that there was something that has been tainted or something that has been infected Yes. So, but it feels like, like earthly stuff that then comes into us. I do not tell you this so that you get afraid. I have audience, but you know, it's the internet. <laughs> what are you going to do? Everyone's going to be unhappy for one reason or another. If I don't come out and say it, people say, how could you not warn us about that? If you get the message, you need to give it to us. We're grown adults. We can take it. And then if I do come out, there are some people who say, you're just fear mongering. I'm not here for that. I'm here for you to make me feel better. I'm not in charge of your happiness. You're in charge of your own happiness. And I have a job to do. Okay. So where I feel like I need to adjust the message as far as how I present it, that's what I will do. So this week, we need to be aware that there is something coming out that it's like a discovery of some sort but it feels like it's widespread and maybe it's always been there and we're just now realizing it or it's been there a while and we're just now realizing it. We'll have to see. Waves of revelation, just like boom, here's this collective or something that affects the collective or boom, here's this self-revelation and you know, I should work on this or here's this pattern that I never really gave any time or thought to. Okay. This could, for some of you, uh, have this, this feeling of a part of your soul's purpose becoming very well known. Um, let me think of an example here. If you're somebody who, you know, you have a lot of people who come in and they really show you who they are and you're sitting there going, wow, do they not have any self-respect? Like, do they not care about themselves? And then maybe you say, well, you know, you're quite capable of doing X, Y, and Z. And you see that person go, really, you think so? Well, yeah, you're, you're very good at that. Why don't you go off and try doing that? And then they're like, okay, I will. And then next thing you know, that little tiny uh, interaction that seemed like it didn't matter, just got that person onto a nice path, right? And so you realize that part of our uh, existence here is to offer when you feel it, when you feel that it's right. We have people who try to go around looking important by offering <laughs> their opinion when nobody asked for it, right? That's not who we're trying to emulate here. <laughs> Rather, if you feel uh, inspired, especially if someone doesn't see their worth or someone doesn't see uh, just how wonderful they are. You know, maybe if you feel genuinely like, no, that, that's not right. You know, you, you're beautiful and you're smart and you have a beautiful soul. And why don't you go after this, that, or the other that you want, right? Uh, why don't you give yourself a chance? Why don't you uh, do more things for yourself or what have you? You know, that has that kind of feeling. So we had that message last week of thoughtfulness and friendship. So fostering connections with one another because we all have each other and that's kind of all we have. That's kind of all we have. It's sort of like hang on to one another to get through these times. So no tearing one another down, 
if we feel passionate about something, again, I got to work on this too, you know, kind of working on how I present things. And, um, you know, if I, especially if it's something that has to do with children being harmed, ooh, oh my God, you know, like that does get me fired up. But is that effective? Can I truly be helpful in that way or communicating a different way? Will that get us further and maybe protect more kids? It's that kind of thing, okay? So having one another as a support, be aware of your coping mechanisms. So we've had a lot of people going down a toxic road, okay? And I've seen this myself. I've seen a lot of people revealing what kinds of things they use to cope and joking about it, um, how they're gonna crack open uh, another beer or what have you. And you know, having a beer is not bad. <laughs> if you're of age, it's not bad. Um, but if, if you're doing it in excess, you know, whatever it is, try to catch yourself. Try to catch yourself. I know I, I try to eat as, I have like this very like dichotomous way of eating. Like I'm either like super clean, super organic, ba 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 then I'm like, you know what? I just want some french fries. I just do, and that's it. And french fries are going to happen, okay? DoorDash, hey, not sponsored. So, <laughs> right? So, you know, I, I would look at that too, and I have been actually um, looking at it and going, okay, what am I feeling right now? What is it? Well, I feel like things are out of control. Okay, well, you know, having french fries every once in a while is not the worst thing in the world, but is it becoming like a, an every week kind of thing, which drives me nuts as a side story. There are people, I heard some other YouTubers going, yeah, now we're like getting takeout a little, you know, a little less often because we don't want to take the risk of having it come in. So we're down to about two times a week having takeout. Now, how, who are you that gets away with eating takeout twice a week? I might do like once, maybe twice a month right? <laughs> okay. So anyway, that was just a side story that had nothing to do with anything. So anyway, just being aware of that, are you kind of using, are you, what are you leaning on? I guess is what we're getting at here. And I started to catch myself going, no, I'm leaning on like this, this junky food a little bit. And what is it really doing except giving me a stomach ache afterwards? Cause if you do eat like organic and then you try to eat something junky, it doesn't go well. <laughs> it does not go well for you at all. All right. So just, there's a message there to be on the lookout for that and watching like sugar intake and stuff like that, because that's going to, I'm getting, I don't know why this is coming up. It's going to damage your cells. I'm not a nutritionist. I don't know how that works, but that's what I just heard. I want to tell you, I keep getting waves of chills over the left side of my body. We still have Metatron in here as a giant presence. We also have Sandalfin in here too. So Sandalfin helps us to balance out and to be grounded and to not get carried away. What is that about? What are we getting carried away about? Whoa. Okay. It's, okay. Hang with me here. I know this isn't very interesting to watch, but I got to go with the process. What does that mean? The human ego has tried to advance and it has gotten to a high point where it's like squeezed into its own energy and it's about to burn itself out, which makes sense. We've seen a lot of self-centeredness. Again, that could be a survival mechanism or it could be someone's personality disorder. Who knows, right? But this me, 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 I have to be right. I have to be right. I have to be right. And not having that regular kind of connection with other people, right? When I was growing up, you met your friends through school, in your neighborhood, after school activities, right? Having communal dances and stuff like that. We'd go to a dance and like, you know, whatever. And now it's so digital that people feel popular even when nobody actually knows them, <laughs> right? Um, but because a number keeps going up, they feel popular. So it's a very different kind of thing. So because we're isolated, we're not having so many reflectors around us, which is what a relationship does for you, whether it's romantic or friendship, colleague, family, whatever, okay? Because we don't have so much of that going on, it gets easier and easier for us to be in our own little world. And then when somebody comes around, it's like, whoa, 
Don't you see my little world here? Back up. Okay, <laughs> go get my french fries. <laughs> all right? You know, it, it becomes all about us and all about what we want. And when somebody comes up and they have a different want or need or a different path or what have you, we want to maybe fight them. Okay, so more cooperation, more love. We need each other. We need to be there for one another. Um, and be careful about the way you choose to help one another. Yeah, because some people are not helping in the full capacity that they could because they're trying so hard to look woke, woke aware, right? Like they're just trying so hard to be able to say that they've done this, that, or the other, but it doesn't really help, okay? So we'll, I guess we'll see some examples of that. The world is tumbling. It's going to continue. It's going to, like I said, there's, it's gonna be from 2020 to 2024. I think we get a little bit of relief here in 2021. That's where a lot of people start implementing their physical changes. This is where people might move or um, they've finally come to a place of peace with people in their family or unfortunately maybe they've already decided to get divorced, God forbid, and maybe they're moving into a whole other existence in 2021. So it could be a lot of different things. Um, these are things that are the world's going to feel very out of control remember what we were saying last week it's very imperative that we get ourselves into this emotional maturity oh man i said that in a couple of readings like maybe a year ago people got so mad Ooh, how dare you say such a thing what like why are you mad why are you mad like the only way you would get mad at that is like it hit too close to home Okay, Michelle, watch how you communicate. Well, I don't even know how else to say that one, okay? I'm, I'm fine. But the message here is to get into that, you know, emotional maturity, that that focus, so that we're not so wobbly, so we're not so, because there's going to be so many things happening that if you are really wobbly, you're going to get tossed down. You're going to struggle. You're going to suffer. And why? Why? Keep your heart level. This is burning out, apparently. The ego is burning out. And I don't know, will that shift us maybe into our ascension that we've been talking about forever, <laughs> right? Maybe, maybe, but we need to nurture the heart space. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same cards as I did last week, only because I continue to record and these are the decks that are sitting next to me. Is it, what is the other one I got? Oh, I got the um, Tony Carmine Salerno romance deck, but I'll use that in the timeless readings. It'll be hopefully a little more lighthearted again. Uh, when I go into a message, I just let whatever's going to come out, come out. So here we go. That fuzz. Come on, man. Where did that come from? It's not even sweater season. Why do I have fuzzies around? <laughs> What's that about? Okay, so we have Rainbow Obsidian, Heal Your Heart. <laughs> I was just saying, and this was sticking out of the deck as I said that. So here we go. Heal Your Heart. This is that time to get back in touch with, when you're in touch with your heart and you're healing your heart, this is going to help you manage and cope with whatever is coming our way okay so let's break that down a little bit more if we're hanging on for dear life and going i can't take one more thing i can't take one more thing you'll get swept off the boat but if you learn how to survive in that boat and how to ride the waves and it's you're still experiencing the same kind of turmoil that everybody else is but you're focused you're focused on your survival you're focused on how to get everybody out of this situation how can we work together you're focused on cooperation. You'll survive the wave. Make sense? Okay, <laughs> so there is that. I'm gonna keep shuffling. One of the cool things about this deck, let's say if it happens again, is that the cards tend to pop right out. I knew it was gonna happen as soon as, oh yeah, it did. <laughs> I was like, they've been popping out the whole time. Um, I never had to say this uh, epidote. Correct me. You guys are great. Like you guys are so good with pronunciations. I read crystal names all the time. I just don't always hear the names. So this is go deeper. Okay. Um, let me, I just want to look at this. This actually. They yeah, have the green, but what? It, okay. So I'm feeling transformation with this, like big, deep heart transformation. Um, so go deeper, go deeper into your heart, 
go deeper into what needs to be released. We talk about that all the time, but nobody ever does it. <laughs> and part of that is because, I know, as we evolve, there's always something new to work on. Doesn't it always feel like that? Always something new. So you need to go deeper than the surface. So here's the thing. I was just talking to someone and I said, you know, it's time for a fresh start. And their immediate response was, yeah. And they went right to a situation that they are currently experiencing and thought that that was their fresh start. When we say go deeper, it means don't just look at the surface level stories that are going on. Don't just look at what is bothering you in the human story. What is your soul trying to tell you? Is that too much? It's not. Better get used to it because there's going to be a lot of things <laughs> that get revealed. There could be proof of um, things that were beyond <laughs> what we ever could have imagined. Uh, so if you're anchored, I think that's the word I want to use. If you're anchored into your soul, you're not going to freak out. Okay? We need to stop with the freak outs. It's not going to serve you. It's not going to serve anybody. Then we have sunstone. Beautiful. Uh, take pleasure in the things you do. See how they're redirecting the energy here? And this is also a very abundant stone as well. So realize your abundance. Realize that even though you can't do exactly what you want to do, doesn't mean that you can't be resourceful. I remember, I think I was telling you guys a story about, I think the guy was like in the army or air force or something. And when all the gyms were closed, he went out in the sunshine, took some uh, dumbbells out and was on the lawn working out, doing his push-ups and, you know, lifting the weights and doing all that stuff. And then he would sprint off and, you know, run sprints for a little bit and then came back. He found a way. I usually like to take just a little day trip away during the summer. I don't usually go on full-blown vacations very often, <laughs> but like, you know, a day or two, I haven't been able to do that. So I found a way. I found a way. I live in one of the most beautiful places in the world, so why not go out and have some gratitude for that? I have the Rockies in my backyard, <laughs> right? So I can get out and I can enjoy that. Let's not take things for granted, okay? So take pleasure in the things you do. This also means, okay, let me give you another example. I normally hate doing my makeup. I like makeup, but when I'm sitting down, especially when, see, oh, let me, let me back up. I like doing my makeup unless I know someone's going to see it like here, okay? Um, and then I'm like putting pressure on myself going, oh, it's gonna look okay under the lights. Oh, it starts to stress me out. And then when I did my makeup today, I was like, you know what, calm down. You know, you're not a beauty guru, you don't have to be perfect. <laughs> let them stress about it. You know, if it's not right, it's not right. And let me try another technique. Let me try to perfect this. And I actually got engaged with what I was doing and just enjoying seeing what this does and what does that do and oh that didn't work okay wipe that away a little bit let's try this you know so that's a silly example but it's an example of enjoy what you do you can take enjoyment in cooking i know someone's gonna say i hate cooking well when you don't have you know something on hand that's quick and you can just grab and you have to make do with what's in your home figure out a way to enjoy it all right. Don't just shut down from what you always claim. The story you've always told yourself is that you don't enjoy this stuff, right? Okay. And then we have chrysophase, chrysoprase. You know what's so funny? I, I always thought it was chrysophase. This is chrysoprase. Learning something new. Okay. Allow yourself to receive. So there is that. Allow yourself to receive. So this is that kind of thing where when we think we have to do everything on our own, there could be somebody there who has some knowledge and would be happy to be a part of your project or, you know, maybe you're struggling with something and somebody else has advice, you know, that sort of thing. But also just let yourself receive from the universe. Let yourself receive new gifts, new ideas, new inspiration. And let's not diminish the importance of inspiration. Again, if it's just being inspired to use what you have in your home, to, you know, create a different environment to make things feel lovely. You know, uh, I think a cute activity, if you haven't been able to go on a family vacation, let's say you're a family unit unto yourself, but then you have extended family, maybe why doesn't everybody agree to use whatever they have in their home to try to 
you know, sort, sort of like create the vacation place that they would like to be in and everybody has to get on a video chat. You don't tell each other what the place is and everyone has to guess once they get on the video chat about what kind of place you would like to, to visit, right? So if you'd like to be on a tropical beach, you show up on video chat and whatever you would be wearing on your resort vacation with whatever kind of drink you would have and let people guess like what island you would want to visit, right? Or with kids. Don't underestimate the fun of building a fort in the living room, okay? And maybe order a pizza <laughs> if it's you know time for pizza, right? Um, again, not encouraging you to do that often, but you know what I'm saying. So maybe taking the cushions off the couch, putting the blankets everywhere. Do you have some string lights? Do you have some Christmas lights you can hang up? Like have fun. And you know what? That is the best kind of bonding that we can do, right? Let's get some more cards. Now we have, we're gonna use the botanical ones here. All right. Oh, is that right? Oh, here, here are the two cards sticking right out. Okay, we'll grab these up. We have a card deck that fell to the ground that I have to pick up <laughs> later. Terrific, awesome, I love cleaning up messes. Uh, dreams, royal fern and large grass yellow. Is that right? Cool. So there's that. And then the other card we have here is Abundance, Chrysanthemum, uh, Poppinjay. So Abundance and Dreams. We're working on a frequency here. That's what this is about. We are creating the kind of reality that we want. This feels a little bit like, hey, remember that you're in a dream. Don't take it so seriously, <laughs> right? You, you are in fact abundant. Even if the programming of the world says that you have to have a lot of money, you have to have lots of material things or you're not considered important, you are discovering this week like, hey, that's not what it is. I am abundant and I am creative and I create my own happiness. Figure out something maybe that you've always wanted to try that you can do at home. Uh, recently, I started to uh, learn piano. I've wanted to do that my whole life and I'm starting, I just got to the two hand thing and I'm like, <laughs> what, what is happening? Um, I used to be a singer and I have not done that in a very long time. And so I'm starting to train my voice again. And you know, it's not for performance. It's not for anybody else. It's just for me, right? And I'm just, it's just something that I enjoy working on every day. So these are the kinds of things that help you feel abundant. and. You know, dreams don't have to be egotistical. They don't have to be ego driven. Your dreams can be, I just want to experience happiness and joy and creative flow. You can find a way to do that easily. Okay. Now let's get one more card here. The chakra cards. Okay, so we have, oh my gosh, it's that same chakra from last week. I'm looking at the, like the guy, I think that's the soul star chakra, I think. I'll look that up. Hopefully I'll remember to do that. Anyway, the number is 29. Last week we had 30, we have 29 this week. Spiritual awakening, that's what this whole time is all about. This, that's what everything is about. When we get too hung up on the physical story, remember I said the ego is burning out. The ego is burning out. The only thing that's really anchored and connected to your soul is your heart. So we need to reach that deeper wisdom. We need to be tuned into a higher frequency, okay? And even activating those higher chakras and working on that now, okay? Even if you can't accomplish that all in this one week, no problem. <laughs> we'll work on it little by little. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.